I'm going to show you how you can use subtotal instead of the auto sum that we usually use uh, for calculating totals. So in this case, the first thing you have to do is to make sure that you don't create your table using uh, uh, the insert here table, a way of creating tables like this one. We have to select and you, you create it from there using this uh, this feature. No, don't have to use that feature because it includes the, the total here a uh, row making it difficult to do what we want to demonstrate to. So what we need to do here first is that we come here and where well, we select ourselves then we can come here and say um, all borders. Once we do that then we can highlight here and then we, will, we format uh, the table maybe we want the header to be in brown and we want this text to be in white or any other color that you want to. So once you do this then your table is ready. So what you need to make sure is that there is a one blank row between uh, the values that you'll be calculating and the total. This is done so that when you want to use a subtotal, a, this a to, a subtotal row is not included. So once you do this, make sure that you highlight the two cells, then you come here to filter. Once you do this, the next thing that you have to do is to come here to say sort by custom sort then you make sure that you select animal which is this uh, column and then sort on values and that's it and you click OK. So once you do this now, the next thing that you have to do is uh, let's try to test out uh, this feature and see how it works. So we want to see uh, how many uh, weights or kgs for rabbits. Once we do this, still our total is not working even though on the formula bar we have used a equals to which is highlighting all these ones but it's not working so for us to make sure that it works uh, you come here then you unselect this one here and you click ok so that all the values they are back you select them all and then what we can do is we should come here and we do an equals to then we write sub total right we do an open bracket so we make sure that we come to, to some yeah right 109 and then we put a comma and then we select this range that we would want subtotal to work with once we do this we do uh, we close the open bracket and then we click that so now let's see how it works so in case we want to have a total wage uh, for pigs so we click ok and then now it works. So it's 303, which means it's now recording. So if we highlight this total, it appears here on summary. So it's 303, which means it is uh, reflecting correctly. So this is how you use subtotal when you want to uh, sort and filter and get um, the quantities that you want to. It automates. So stop using auto sum when you want to use uh, together with sort and filter when you want to have certain data specifically for your needs. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.